Hi, I'm Alex. Today I'm going to be talking about field programmable gate arrays, also known as FPGAs. I'll show you a simple project for beginners, making a series of LEDs scroll back and forth like the lights on Kit in the Knight Rider TV show. For this project, I used a low-cost FPGA development board and a programmer that is based on a Lattice Semiconductor Mach X02 FPGA. The development board is called Tiny FPGA and has a 32-pin FPGA. The program and hardware setup are simple. FPGAs are typically programmed in one of two languages, VHDL and Verilog. For this project, I used Verilog. Here's the hardware. Ten white LEDs, one tiny FPGA A2 board, one tiny FPGA programming board, a prototyping board, 30 tenth of an inch header pins, and one bench power supply set to 3.3 volts. I soldered the pins on the tiny FPGA board. I then installed the tiny FPGA and the LEDs in the breadboard, and I hooked the breadboard up to power. Next, I downloaded the FPGA development environment from Lattice Semiconductor. The software is free and works with both VHDL and Verilog. The first program I downloaded onto the system was a predefined program that was supplied by tinyfpga.com. I loaded it and got three blinking LEDs. I then used that uh, program as a baseline to develop my own Verilog program. Once it was written, I used the Lattice tool to generate a JEDEC file that can be loaded via the tiny FPGA programming board onto the FPGA. The final result speaks for itself. A tiny little display like kit from Knight Rider. Thank you for watching. Cheers.